Two people from Kosovo, known only as Tani and Daya, have been declared wanted over their involvement in the robbery of 10 million euros from Renus Airport on April 9th, following a testimony given by Alcon Brengarski. After more than two months of protests in front of the Assembly and the Prime Ministry, the opposition is changing their strategy and will be blocking roads across the entire country tomorrow. The Anti-Corruption Task Force and the Portal for Co-Government are serving to clean up the public administration with more than 600 civil service employees dismissed following complaint raids. It's six o'clock on Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to RTV Aura's English edition. My name is Alexandra, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. New details have emerged regarding the 10 million euro heist, which occurred on April 9th at Tirana's Mother Teresa Airport, commonly known as Rinas. On the day he was arrested, Alcon Brengasi gave a statement to the police in the presence of a legal representative. According to sources, it has been learned that from the testimony of Brengasi, the persons involved in the April 9 robbery are his cousins, brothers Clement and Eldid Sala, who have now been declared as wanted. He told the investigators that he had agreed to modify the van with the inscription tax investigation. He also provided information about two other persons involved in the robbery, identified as Daya from Kosovo and another person identified as Tani. I worked at the auto service and they asked me to accompany them to Kavaya where we would get a van. At the beginning, I, I did not accept because I had a sick child and I did not want to leave Elbasan. But in the end, I agreed and we went to Kavaya. When we arrived there, there were three people awaiting us for lunch. One was introduced as Admir Muratai, and he was accompanied by two other individuals from Kosovo. One of them was referred to as Daya and the other as Tani. After lunch, we got the Chevrolet vans, which I later modified. Then I learned that the vehicles would be used for a robbery, said Brengasi. Both of his cousins have been declared wanted. Albanian police have demanded the co cooperation of Kosovar authorities for their capture. Kosovo police spoke to their domestic media, declaring information was being exchanged for the purpose of capturing the perpetrators. Police and the investigation team managed to identify Alcon Brengasi because his fingerprints were found on the van, which was inscribed with tax investigation. The first instance court in Škodër has conducted a hearing session for the citizen Ilir Bayri Rustemi, arrested as part of the Bayri group. The Albanian judges are also considering Italy's request for the extradition of the individuals arrested in our country. In 2008 to 2009, the Bologna court in Italy tried and sentenced Bayri on the accusations of narcotics trafficking and prostitution. He was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. The Italian justice system demands extradition of Ilir Bairi in order for him to carry out <clears throat> his sentence. He was present at the hearing, but the session was postponed anyway, as he was not accompanied by legal representation. Bairi was arrested in September of last year as part of the Bairi group, suspected of being part of a, criminal, a structured criminal group. The case continues at the court of serious crimes. Bairi's appearance in court was accompanied by a significant presence of first response police officers to maintain security at the Škodra court. After the session, which lasted no more than 10 minutes, Ilir Bairi Rusremi was accompanied under strict security measures back to his cell to await the next hearing at the Serious Crimes Court, as well as Škodra's court hearing for the purpose of extradition. The opposition protest will not be in front of the Assembly tomorrow, but instead will be dispersed across five major road axes with the aim of blocking traffic of vehicles for approximately 60 minutes. The action is scheduled for tomorrow evening at 6pm, with citizens being tasked with preventing the movement of traffic at Sheshi Bradashesh in Elbasan, the Plepa Kavaya Highway in Duras, Milot's intersection in Leja, uh, Sheshi Shech in Fir and Sheshi Shiponya in Tirana. The Democratic Party chair, Lul Zimbasha himself, will join the protesters in the capital. This scenario is a repeat of an action taken more than a year ago when the Democratic Party paralysed circulation around the country by blocking the main national roads. The chair of the Democratic Party has, in the organisation of the protest, demanded the highest possible participation from the central structures, former MPs and district chairs.
The draft law on the private judicial bailiff service has caused debates within the majority during its discussion in the meeting of the Law Commission. The distinction of bailiffs for political activities was one of the issues that led to arguments between the socialist MPs. New opposition MPs were also involved in the debates. Adriatic Alimavi accused the majority of seeking to politicise the service through the new law. The draft law on the private judicial bailiff service has been amended within the framework of justice reform to harmonise this service with the changes that, have the country's judicial system, that the country's judicial system has undergone. At the weekly meeting with the coordinators of co-government, Prime Minister Eddie Rama acknowledged that there is still work to do to improve the public administration. He went on to announce that 600 administration employees have been dismissed from duty following complaints received from citizens via the platform of co-governance. There are about 600 individuals from employees of the office engaged in contact with the citizens right up to the leaders of these offices who have been removed because they were not worthy of serving the citizens. Under the framework of the fight against corruption, the task force chaired by Justice Minister Etilda Jornai has issued seven disciplinary measures at Tirana's Regional Environmental Agency. 30,000 out of 41,000 complaints have been solved after being lodged via the online portal titled The Albania We Want. Working for the state remains a career dream for many Albanians. Year on year, the demand for, for a job position in the public sector has continued to rise, with 2018 seeing an average of 22 candidates assessed for each position offered. The Department of Public Administration reports that this is the highest average for the period over the last 18 years. The average number of candidates in the year 2018 for a job position is estimated to be 22. The average number of applicants per position has increased compared to previous years, indicating a growing interest from citizens in becoming a member of the civil service, it is written in the report. The same report underlines that during the past year and in absolute value, the total number of applications for all vacant positions announced for the year 2018 was 27,067, out of which 13,658 applicants were determined to have met the criteria outlined in the announcement. The Public Administration Department has also released some demographical data regarding the applicants such as average ages and gender. The average age for, of applicants for admission to the civil service is 31 years. The average age of applicants for recruitment is 38 years. The old Milot Bridge has long been degraded. The spaces between the connecting beams have been extended, making it difficult to, for vehicles to circulate, while the eye and side protectors have been removed across significant segments. The situation created proves that maintenance and investments in this bridge have been seriously lacking, as such turning it into a dangerous black spot for vehicles. Since the construction of the Leja Lach Highway, the old bridge over the Mutt River has not received any attention, despite the relatively high number of vehicles circulating over it. Residents and drivers who use the bridge demand intervention, but the Infrastructure Ministry has blocked investments not only for new works, but also for the rehabilitation of facilities that need urgent intervention, such as in this case. The yard at the entrance to the Prime Ministry was turned into an exhibition space today, showcasing rare and historic vehicles. Albanian collectors are passionate about the old automobiles. The activity and initiative of the General Directorate of Road Transport Service even goes beyond this particular exhibition. Blendi Gorge says it, is, it also aims to improve legal acts for vehicles that have a historical interest. The exhibition of over 40 vehicles that, apart from their historical value, convey heritage and culture, sparked the interest of many passers-by. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for our latest news in uh, for the latest news from Albania. Once again on behalf of RTV Aura, thank you and good night. <laughs>